and Charles Carousis at this tavern. Strange to drink and make merry on the eve war. The fat king. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy, but not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool, the king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I should thank you. For what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. Watch and learn. Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. The jesters were all drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. The bear might be the king, so the king had a room. You there, acting strange. Where is your king? As mute as the dead. No matter. I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theatre in Amiens. Good. Let us go. No, he may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said.
if we mere mortals measure the greatness of a king? By his height, by his weight, by the length of his sock. No! Do not measure our royal majesty by the size of his like that. anything. Instead, gauge his words. Test if they be honest. All up, you crook! And pantomime again, you air. Words are like water, oh, ever man. flowing. Estimate our royal ruler. Looks like the backstage. Maybe chance lurks within. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little ones. Yes, Stephen. What? What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No, 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 no. It is only the heathen, led astray by Lucifer. But mortal, all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> uh, forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. Let me assure you, my demon exists, as does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand, for that trick you played on me and the Queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Odo won't see reason. Siegfried wishes to burn the city down, but you... You can save Paris. If the world was so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man, with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope, and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While pious Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard... My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Else begun. You want him brought to a dingy theater, where you talk to yourself in the dark? No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men. ...and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. You look none the worst for ale. 
How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish skulls. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. We should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. What else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toka. Side, there's nothing left for the Northmen to steal. Everyone, come bask in my wife's comfy warmth of wisdom. Her cheerful quips will warm us this winter, huh? Her playful words will feed us. Her sharp tongue will defend us. The smuggler owes me wine. Turn my wife's house, she says, and I'll give you a jug of wine. Uh, pardon, friend. Did I hear you speak of a smuggler named Nolan? I did. Satan thief! Promised a jug of wine to guard her warehouse. Oh, and where is her warehouse? It's uh, over to the east somewhere. Got a play cross painted on it. Thank you, my friend. Perhaps you should sleep it off before going back on guard duty. All right. Good idea. The smuggler owes me wine. Guard my warehouse, she says. And I'll give you a jug of wine. I have been guarding that pile of rocks for three hours already! Survey the area, Sunan. The smuggler owes me wine. Guard my warehouse, she says. And I'll give you a jug of wine. I have been guarding that pile of rocks for <coughs> three hours! <laughs> Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. A heathen monster, bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend, good people, do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust a pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? 
Franz, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. You keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. Plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Eivor. I am not yet ready to return to Charles, if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward. Name of Norman. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman, although not without talents. To those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? Better we take the city before it starves. We will not harm the commoners if I can help it. But Siegfried, the Frank killer, leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many Northmen must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his niece die too? Should you? I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason and truce on all sides. I do what I can. You did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you. My good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I'm in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! From the mouths of babes. <coughs> Very well. But hurry back, little bear. Not so fast, little prince. This place is not safe. Nowhere in France here is safe now. Mother Richardie says so. How is it you know where this smuggler works? Yesterday I went on an adventure and followed her. But she saw me and waved. I felt silly. Uh, I've been down this way before. Thanks, Bernard. Get back to the Queen. Bye, Eivor! Have fun, and let's have another adventure soon! Bread friend, but I do not have any silver. Hmm. I'm not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. Praise the saints, and I thank you for your fine and timely blade. But I must go. No, you see, I'm a friend of Prishanis, Queen of Francia, and I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through the city's walls. I need your help. I am no ghost, just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All of Paris knows it. Even the boy prince does. I need your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? My friend Toka wants her necklace back. This I know. There is her chain, friend. Tell her to find me a knot when this is all over. Toka, she'll hear your words. All is well. So what do you need, Northerner? 
I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door, something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Franks sealed the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take that bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. Where is this bridge? Must be near. Marklow was right. Some jars of grease will bring this bridge crashing down. I will set up the jars so we can destroy the bridge later, during the attack. Tell me to scout the Northmen's army by myself? What do I want with their suicide mission? Let's see how well they hold the city without their precious bridge, bastards. Hey, you don't belong down here. No, to be honest, neither do I. Then let us pretend we're both elsewhere. Eh, uh, why not? We are all doomed. There. That workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, 
That man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the Wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear, for we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Goslin and Ebos, warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests, avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must- Brother, you talk too much! Ah! Come on, let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftops. Siegfried Skullbreaker is here! Come, man! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sight lines? A perfect place for our catapults to burn stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried. I am no goat-footed climber like you, but I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Attack! Vengeance or death! I knew catapults are eager for battle. The crack of wood and stone is the sound of victory. And vengeance. on the city walls for our catapults.
indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson? The god of vengeance, who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes, Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nordnir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. <laughs>